Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Brandon with Taylor's Fine Smoke Cooking. I'm on my way to the store, about to go get a couple boxes of cake mix. I'm going to attempt to make a cake. I saw my guy at Finest Wine Cooking Channel. He was making, he had got a cake from someone. It was a lemon cake. And that cake looked fantastic. So I'm going to go get me some, uh, some lemon cake mix and some icing and see if I can make a cake too. Now, I know it's not going to be as good as he is. It's not going to be as good as my wife's because she makes homemade pound cakes. But I want some cake, so... Uh, let's go get this cake and we'll see what we can whip up. Again, we're looking for a lemon cake, so. And I'm no pro at baking, so I wanna make sure that it stays super moist on there. Yep. Let's go get this one, let's get two of those. Guys, this is back from the store. This is what I wound up picking up. Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Lemon Supreme and then the matching icing. I did get two boxes of the cake batter. Just to, I didn't know how much I would need, so I got two of those. One icing, I'm not, I don't like a ton of icing, so that should be plenty. Then I got this old bunk cake pan here. Hopefully that works out good enough. When my, my wife makes her uh, pound cakes, she don't use that pan, but uh, we'll see what it does. So. Let's see if we can get this thing whipped up. Stick around. All right, guys, let's get into this cake. Now, we're doubling what this says the ingredients are. Remember, we're making two cakes, so we got our cake mix. Two of those. And this also calls for using water, but I'm going to use milk. I can't exactly tell you why. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just hoping that the milk does uh, allow the cake to, to be a little more moist than what it normally would using water. So it calls for one cup, but since we're making two cakes, two cups of milk, uh, it's asking for three eggs, three large eggs. So here we go with our large eggs. I've got six of those. Put those in there. Then it calls for a third cup of vegetable oil. So get that one in here get it mixed up now you know back in the day when I was young I would make a box of brownies I really never made cakes um, it's not like I can't bake some if I need to but I really just don't so hoping the cake turns out good because I was really been craving some cake lately Plants hurrah so got that all in there and then let's go ahead and get it start getting it mixed up mixing it for a while. I'm just going to kind of scoop down the edges of the bowl to get some of this extra stuff that didn't get incorporated in the batter and keep going. I got the mixer on low. Um, it's really not really a thick, thick batter like when my wife makes pound cakes. So it should be fine. But uh, we're just going to keep on rolling with it, guys. Catch back up with you in a little. Got it mixed, it's pretty smooth. I don't see any like big lumps or anything in it, so you know, that's good. Let me go ahead and uh, get our pan and get it greased up. It says it's supposed to be cooked at 350 for the top of pan I'm using. So I've got my oven preheating right now uh, to 350 degrees. And then, uh, all right guys, let's get this pan together now. When my wife makes her cake, she normally we have a spray the way it's got the, I guess the flour built into it. It's a baking spray, but I don't see any in our uh, pantry, so I'm just going to have to uh, spray it down with some cooking oil and then put some flour in it, and hopefully this cake won't stick. I, say, I think it's called Baker's Joy, if I'm not mistaken, but um, either we're out or I just can't find it. So, like I said, hopefully this will work. Spray it down real good, and it's kind of coated best I can flour so I do know to do this kind of old school like I said I hope that it uh it works because if not then uh this 
Okay, then it'll turn out too good. Look. It's got a little pocket of oil at the bottom. Again, I hope that's okay. I don't know. But we're going to see what it does. Make it do what it do. A little prey on it and put it on there. So I think I'll have to fill this thing up about a little over halfway maybe. And uh, go from there. Okay, the batter's nice and smooth. So we got it mixed up real well. Not worried about that. And that's the one thing I really don't know about uh, bunt cakes especially is how high I'm supposed to go on the batter. It doesn't say on the box, so we're just kind of guessing. Hopefully it works out. That's my oven. It's up to 350 degrees. I've got it just above halfway, so I'm hoping that's uh, that's good enough. Let it uh, rest, I guess, a few minutes. Looks like it's got some bubbles in it. Got to get those bubbles out of here if I can. Then uh, go ahead and put it in the oven. So I'll check back with you guys shortly, y'all. All right, y'all. Here's, Here's our cake. Turn the light on. Get a good look at it. See, it looks beautiful. It looks pretty. I uh, took um, a uh, toothpick and poked all around through it and it pulled out clean. So, should be done all the way through, which is good. It's pretty and golden brown on top. So, I'm just going to let it sit in this pan for a few minutes. Then, I'm going to try to turn it over and uh, put it on the plate. That way, it can cool. I know the longer you leave a cake inside a pan, um, the harder it is to get out if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to leave it there just for a few minutes. Then we're going to uh, go ahead and turn it over on a plate and get it out of this pan. So, all right, stick around, you guys. It's looking good so far. Hopefully it breaks away easily. It's starting to come up away from the pan as of right now. It's on its own. So that's a good thing. I'm hoping it doesn't stick at all. But I know I need to get it out of this pan. So I just got a plate here and uh, I'm gonna turn it, just kind of flip it. And hopefully it comes right out. And it did. Perfect, 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 perfect. So the cake looks pretty good. Got a little bit of white where there was a little buildup of, uh, I guess, the flour we were talking about earlier. But so far, so good. Look. So I'm, I'm extremely excited about that. I'm pleased with the way it looks. It comes right out. And we'll just let that cool for a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and uh, that icing I bought, I'll just probably warm it up a little bit in the microwave and drizzle it over the top. But so far, so good. So uh, I'm going to let this cool, and then I will pick back up a little bit later, guys. Okay, cool down. Now here's our icing. Again, what I'm just going to do with this, I'm going to put it in the microwave for just a few minutes or a few seconds and see if I can get it soft enough to where I can just pour it over the top. Um, hopefully that works too, it should. Uh, so let me do that and then I'll meet back up with you in just a minute. Okay, we're back. I've got my icing uh, melted down. I'm just gonna pour it over the top of this cake. And uh, what I'm thinking is when it cools down it'll hard, kind of harden back up again. So, you know, it would have been hard for me to ice this type of cake. But it looks good. Look at that, guys. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. I know when uh, my wife comes home, she's going to be like, hey, where'd you get the cake from? When I'm like, yeah, I made that. So, get it all glazed up real good. And I'm going uh, to let this cool again a little bit longer so this icing can go ahead and set up. And then uh, when it's time to cut into it, we'll bring you guys back in and uh, see how it tastes. So, stick around, y'all. cut this cake up. Now you see I got me a couple scoops of vanilla ice cream. That's how I like my cake. Yeah, it's on paper plate, so so what? Y'all don't do my dishes, so let's go ahead and get us a 
nice little slice of this cake. Nice little hook. Looky, looky, looky. Looks so good. So, so good. Let's go ahead and let's get a quick little bite. Here, look at that. Mmm, mmm. I did it, y'all. That is actually really, really good. Nice and moist. Kind of airy, but super moist. That's good. Mm -hmm. I made it all by myself. Well, mine ain't gonna sprint like I, I was clueless on making the cake. I just don't make it. But this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. A lot better. Guys, if you appreciate the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell for me. Share the video out. And uh, I appreciate you guys a lot, man. Uh, until the next time, God bless.